And welcome to Filmmaking Today, Bojan Dilovic here. So what's the difference between a regular adapter and a focal reducer? Stay tuned. This is a generic focal reducer, also known as speed booster. This is what it looks like. It's basically a piece of metal that goes in between your camera and your lens. However, unlike a regular adapter like this one, which basically has nothing inside, there's no optics, it's just there so you can attach certain lenses to your camera, a focal reducer has other advantages as well. With a focal reducer like this one, you are getting a lens inside and it gives you quite a few advantages. So here's some footage with a regular adapter. You can see the settings here. And now you can see what it looks like with a focal reducer. I didn't move the camera so you can see how much more it is zoomed out. In my case, I'm using the Helios 44M lens, which is a 58 millimeter lens, which in micro four thirds becomes a 116. With the focal reducer, that becomes a 42 mil lens, which is a 84 mil lens on micro four thirds. And also you are getting an additional stop of light, which always helps. And let's take a look at some footage shot with my Helios lens and the focal reducer. So that's it guys, as you can see, a focal reducer is a pretty, pretty sweet little thing. Um, I didn't notice any, any um, vignetting or any loss of quality or anything like that. Uh, to me, using a focal reducer like this guy, especially with a lens like the Helios, is just awesome. Um, I actually use both of them. I use the regular adapter and the focal reducer because to me, um, you're basically getting two focal lengths, right? And, um, you know, it, depending on what I do, that works. So that's something I would recommend to you as well. A regular adapter is going to run you somewhere around 15 to 20 dollars. So that's not that bad. And then the focal reducer, again, depending on uh, what it is um, and, you know, where you're getting it and all that stuff, probably somewhere between 80 to 100 dollars. So, you know, getting both of them, it's going to cost you a bit of money, but uh, you are basically getting two lenses out of it which is always a good thing and um, getting the extra stop of light you will notice that and um, obviously um, getting a wider view you'll definitely notice all that stuff which will always come in handy so that's it I have nothing but good things to say you saw the footage and um, it definitely works for me I definitely use both the focal reducer and the regular adapter and that's it Links to everything will be in the description as always. They are affiliate links, so it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it definitely helps the channel, so please use those. And uh, stay tuned for more, subscribe to this channel, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and um, stay tuned for more. Thanks.